So the NVIDIA's new app called the NVIDIA app is here in stable version. I have been using beta version ever since it came out. So finally, it is in stable version and now it is ready to replace the NVIDIA's GeForce Experience app plus the old control panel. And this thing is actually really good compared to the old ones. So if we go into the old control panel, everybody knows about it. I have clicked it already. I don't know why it's not opening. Okay, now it's opening, okay? So you see what I'm trying to say here? This thing is actually better. So the NVIDIA control panel, the old one, as you guys know, looks ugly, plus it's sluggish. It is slow and all that. And now, uh, let's just say NVIDIA is deprecating this thing. So with the new NVIDIA app, you can download the graphics drivers, just like in GeForce Experience, but this thing feels much smoother and faster compared to the GeForce Experience app. I have never used a GeForce Experience app because it always felt like heavy on the system plus you have to log in but in nvidia app you don't have to do that okay if you want to yeah login option is always there okay uh, if you log in you can get some rewards and all that so yeah but i don't care about that <laughs> all i want is the drivers okay there is the drivers section right here all right and uh, we have the graphics section this is the control panel basically uh, replacing the old control panel here you'll see the list of programs and we have the global settings we can change all the graphics settings and there are a couple of new you know settings available which are not available in the control panel actually like for example the rtx dynamic vibrance you can you know let's say for example you can have this thing on a specific game you know you can make your game more vibrant with this filter this is kind of like a filter thingy so you can see i have this thing enabled 50 percent intensity uh, saturation boost 50 percent actually let's open the website one more time <laughs> okay so here we have some demos okay so uh let me see here here you can see you can turn on the rtx dynamic vibrance and you can see it it makes the game look much better and you can also enable the rtx hdr you can see which makes game look much more brighter and sharper i guess yeah i like this i actually turn on the vibrance on all of my games because it makes the game look a little bit brighter plus it makes the color pop out i guess and you can see things clearly so yeah i always have the rtx dynamic vibrance enabled so these are some of the features that i'm actually familiar with and i have been playing around with it so basically uh, look at this okay it's smooth working perfectly looks good on the eyes and all that it has the dark mode unlike the uh nvidia control panel i guess so now you can simply you can see it takes forever to load the nvidia control panel and plus it doesn't have the dark mode and you can get lost pretty easily like yeah i mean <laughs> so yeah finally you can uninstall the nvidia control panel and start using the nvidia app it's actually pretty good and you can go into the system section here you can do further tweaking plus you can also change your display settings like you know uh, fps and all that also the orientation everything that you get on the uh, uh, you know old N nvidia control panel is here but in much better layout we also have the video settings performance settings here you can actually you know uh, overclock your gpu automatically you just need to go here and turn this on and it will analyze your gpu and you know if it is possible to overclock your gpu it will do it for you it's official official overclocking feature from the nvidia so yeah this is the nvidia app and i actually like it I, I have been, again, as I said, I have been using this ever since it came out when it was in beta and all that. And yeah, I like it. Before this, whenever I needed to like update my NVIDIA drivers, I always used to use some third party applications to check for updates for the NVIDIA graphics drivers and then all that. I have done a couple of videos on that, but uh, now, you know, I'm just using the NVIDIA app because it's actually pretty good. It is combining both control panel and the GeForce Experience 
you know features into one app plus it feels smoother you know lighter on the system everything is seamless like you can see here it's simple even in like design side okay you, you can find all the settings pretty easily okay so yeah so yeah that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it but if you still have any questions or you want to discuss about this you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun Bye-bye.